สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Today is Friday, September 27th. Please be aware that today marks the release of the latest edition of the Phuket News English Language Newspaper, as well as our Russian language sister paper, Novosti Phuketa. Grab your copy at locations around the island. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. Police in Phuket are now going after illegally modified motorbikes, which are very popular among the youth in Thailand with loud exhaust pipes. All part of a new crackdown. The whole thing was announced at a press conference on Thursday at Phuket City Police Station, led by Phuket Provincial Police Commander Police Major General Sin Lert Sukum. He stated that in order to make necessary preparations for the Phuket Vegetarian Festival, police are now taking necessary actions in addressing social issues in the province. Particularly those related to nosy motorcycles and unlawful gatherings of teenagers. It was explained that the campaign actually began on August 1st and has seen authorities already charge over 100 people on the island for various road violations, including arrests for illegal exhaust modifications, driving without license plates, and more. 96 vehicles suspected of being involved in illegal activities were confiscated since August 1st, while 108 people were arrested for illegal vehicle modifications. In addition, legal action was taken against 41 parents for neglecting or encouraging their children's inappropriate behavior, according to authorities. Police Lieutenant General Surapong of Region 8 Police stated, quote, Region 8 Police and the Phuket Provincial Police are also calling on the public to support these efforts by discouraging teenagers from engaging in activities that disturb the peace. Parents are urged to be more vigilant and the police are offering support to families seeking advice or assistance. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. We're less than a week away from the start of the 2024 Phuket Vegetarian Festival, and officials in Phuket Town are making final preparations to bring the old town area especially alive with vibrant and colorful decorations. Symbolic yellow flags adorn the streets ahead of the annual festival, which runs from October 2nd to the 11th. Various shrines have begun extensive cleanup exercises ahead of the event to ensure their premises are ready while restaurants and food stalls throughout Phuket Town have changed their menus to serve primarily vegetarian dishes. To symbolize the start of the festival, nine Koteng lantern poles will be raised at various shrines across the island at 5 p.m. on October 2nd, next Wednesday, and rituals will follow at each shrine thereafter. Additionally, there will be performances of, quote, miracles by male and female spirit mediums utilizing an array of sharp objects inserted into their bodies, all while adhering to best practice disease prevention measures, cleanliness, and safety measures. So far, it seems that 50 shrines will participate in this year's festival, with thousands of local residents and tourists descending onto the streets of Phuket to enjoy the occasion. The Phuket Vegetarian Festival is an important local tradition of the Thai Chinese community, that has been practiced and passed down through generations to the present day. In addition to abstaining from consuming meat as a form of merit-making, the festival is also a demonstration of the power of faith and unity of the people of Phuket and a hugely popular event among tourists from all around the world. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. In a bid to boost Thailand's reputation and elevate the kingdom to tier one on the U.S. State Department's trafficking in persons ranking, the new government is opening a victim identification and referral center in Bangkok to stamp out human trafficking. The Bangkok Post reports that an opening ceremony took place on Thursday. The center, which was established following the 2022 National Referral Mechanism, which is a guideline to facilitate the operations of agencies in cooperating, sharing information, providing referral assistance, and protection for victims of human trafficking and forced labor, or accessing primary support services in line with human rights principles and international rules. The Royal Thai Police, the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, the Social Development and Human Security Ministry, and the Ministry of Labor will jointly run and manage the facility. Officials say that the facility will also serve as a temporary shelter for victims of human trafficking in Thailand. The facility has bedding, separate male and female toilets, and shower rooms with toiletries, spaces for dining and laundry, a basic security system, and counseling rooms. 
Thailand Victim Identification and Referral Centers will also be open in other provinces around the country, including in Chiang Mai, Chomburi, and here in Phuket. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Bangtao Muay Thai and MMA is set to host their Bangtao Brawl No. 2, featuring an array of fights, live DJ, and much more this weekend. The Bangtao area on the island's west coast will be alive with the sounds of Muay Thai, boxing, MMA, and grappling, with fighters plying their trade and testing their mettle under the watchful eye of some of the top coaches in the world. Food and fights will be on hand for those who snag a ticket to the event, a link for which is in the description. Live DJ giveaways and, of course, some good fights on hand are all set for this Saturday, September 28th at the Bangtao Muay Thai and MMA Gym. Doors open at 6 p.m., fights start at 7.30 p.m. The gym has been open for just over two years and has already hosted some of the top figures in the fight world, including Tyson Fury, George St. Pierre, John Jones, Alexander Volkanovsky, and others. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Thanks for checking us out here on this Friday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pdcphuket.com. Head over to thephuketnews.com for all events coming up, not just this weekend, but in the near future. We'll see you again on Monday, and until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.